Under my knees is so sweaty. Yeah. There's just like specific stereotypes about film internships. <laughs> Angela and welcome back to my channel. We're going to talk about interning in the film industry, kind of like what you can expect and what I got out of my internship experience. I went through um, and ended up getting an internship opportunity with Silver Pictures, movies that you might know that they worked on. The Book of Eli, which is one of my personal favorites. The new Superfly, which was going ongoing whenever I was interning there. Um, and then they also have done like The Matrix, Die Hard. It was supposed to be a two day a week internship and then by the time it hit like the second, third weekend, I was interning almost every single day, which I personally love because I hate having downtime. Whenever I told people that I was moving to Los Angeles to pursue film. So they were like, you know, like you are a 23 year old and you're leaving behind a really, really wonderful career opportunity in insurance to make coffee and deliver mail. Granted, those are aspects of interning. It's not all of it. There were less days of me going on coffee runs than there were of days where I was actually contributing to the company. So I interned with Silver Pictures for three months um, from April into June. And Dark Castle is associated with Silver Pictures, so like I also got to help with Dark Castle stuff, which was phenomenal because I love horror films. Everyone who knows me knows that I am a horror junkie. Outside of the stereotypical coffee run, what else did I do? That is a fantastic question. My camera is going to die. Like you want to build connections with people. It was a small company, I saw the people every single day. I can list off everyone who worked there probably on both of my hands and maybe a foot. And I had conversations with people that were doing the jobs that I one day hope to have. Not only was I building connections with people, one of the most important things that I did was write coverages um, for both TV series and feature films. Also manuscripts, so just like books, comics, all that jazz. Um, if you guys don't know what coverage is, literally a document an intern or a script reader will give to a producer, director, whomever um, regarding whether or not they think a script is worth making. At 9 o'clock I would go in, my internship supervisor would send me a new script, I would read it, I would write coverage report, and then I would send it back to the assistants for the producers who wanted it. Producers sometimes would come in after reading my coverage and give me feedback on it and ask if there were any additional questions. So that was really cool, it was really great um, because not only was I reading scripts, determining what's good, what's bad, but I also had to break it down in a manner where like other people could understand um, condensing storylines, kind of pinpointing out problematic areas, really just like delving into storytelling. Which, as a wannabe screenwriter, one of the most important things is to understand the differences between a high quality script and a low quality script. Scripts that you're getting coming into these production companies, not all of them are great. That's like the greatest thing about interning at a film production company, especially if they're one that lets you read scripts, because these are all agent represented scripts, I would read them and be like, I'm a better writer than this. And they have an agent. And so it was kind of like, they can make it this far, yeah girl can make it this far. So I was also reading really high quality scripts that were just like phenomenally written and made me want to reach that level of, of storytelling. You know, strive for the great, um, toss the, the bat underneath the rug. But being able to do coverage is great and then being able to say that I did it for a film producer like Joel Silver who has such a like a, a such a reputation in the film industry um, is great. So alongside with doing coverages and reading those scripts for unproduced films, um, the company would also have me do developmental notes between drafts of scripts, things that they wanted to produce, they already purchased the rights to, and they were working on various drafts of it, determining like which version of the script was better, what changes were made, you know, like, and then putting that into a different coverage so the producer knows exactly like where they're at in developing the script and trying to get it to the best possible um, place for shooting. I was taught how to cover the secretarial desk. I learned how to like handle these really fancy films and take messages and I was able to talk to certain celebrities whenever they called in which was just like very cool. I probably, I'm not allowed to say like which people called in and I like, I, sh I shouldn't say that one. 
we're gonna <laughs> keep that secret in the pocket. He's learning how to talk to celebrities like they weren't celebrities. Beneficial when one lives in Hollywood, because it's like, maybe if I can't get like a solid job, I'll be a barista, and then like, Hilary Duff walks into my Starbucks, and it's like, Lizzie McGuire is here, but it's like I have to act calm and collected because this is my job and I'm a craftsman of the coffee. I would get these phone calls and, you know, have to handle them as a respected individual and not freak out. My personal favorite thing that um, I got to do was cover the desks for the ins- blah, 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 desks for the ins- was cover the desks for the assistants. I got to be Joel Silver's personal assistant a few times. I'll be doing that on the third again. Ethan Irwin and Aaron Ock and uh, just tons of like really great producers. I got to listen in on phone calls, take notes uh, for the meetings. I got to schedule meetings, listen in on conversations regarding the status of certain films, which at that point in time, Superfly was being uh, was finishing up so I was sitting in on phone calls between Sony and Joel Silver and um, taking notes on what was working what wasn't working and um, just learning more about how the industry worked I was talking to different talent agencies like I said different actors and just really like figuring out how to be an assistant to a producer I know a lot of people in the industry start off as the assistant to whatever it is that they want to be. My dream job right now is to become an assistant to a writer on a TV show within a genre that I'm very comfortable writing. Walking Dead is your thing because you're learning from people who are doing what you want to do. I was being um, producer's assistants and that's a really cool job um, because I feel like you have more of an understanding of all elements that go into um, to a project because I was also listening to conversations between the producer and the writer. As a writer, I'm gonna have to do that one day, hopefully. Fingers crossed, uh, please. <laughs> Figuring out how, you know, an assistant operates is essential because like I said, most people, that's how they get their start. Um, unless you know someone, hello nepotism. And for me, it's like being able to say that I have experience working as an assistant because I probably put in like, I was covering everyone. I would say my last three-ish weeks with Silver Pictures was literally just me like, it was just me covering for assistance. I'm not complaining, I was getting paid. But like learning how to how to function as an assistant is really cool. Being an intern in the film industry, lots of different hats. I learned a lot of really valuable advice from these people. And it was just like a really nice experience to be able to just like sit in a production house and hear how things work, to see how things function, to hear updates on like ongoing private matters. I learned the coffee orders of some really inspiring individuals. I also got to see how a company that uh, really impacted my desire to pursue film, um, how they operate and they seem to like me enough at Silver Pictures to where I'm coming back in to, to cover for an assistant. Intern, you know, take as many internship opportunities as possible. Get out into Hollywood or stay in your respected community and intern with you know, independent production companies or BuzzFeed, small documentary maker and get firsthand experience because like, it's honestly going to really, 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 I cannot express how many reallys benefit you so much and really add quality and depth to your comprehension of the film industry. If you have any questions regarding how I got my internship, leave it uh, in the comments below. Rewind. If you want me to make a video about how I got my internship, like this video. Um, like this video if you enjoyed it because if you're interested in film and screenwriting, uh, if you just want to see me fail or succeed and subscribe to this channel, I get like a little like adrenaline rush every time that I click on my channel and it's like, new subscriber. It makes me want to like poop out of excitement. I think I've lost track of what this video is about. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>